Yes, good morning. It's 6.06 over here on the East Coast. I um, know y'all can't see me. I'm on my way to work. But I wanted to make this quick video. You know, a um, lot of interesting vlogs and all that this, this week. A lot of bullshit being spewed out by certain people. My thing is, if you're mad and you don't acknowledge it, then you're not mad. But if you're mad and you acknowledge it, then you let motherfuckers get to you. I can understand a lot of shit that you say on your YouTube channel. Everybody's biased to a certain degree. Everybody's got a certain fighter that they like. You know, this is life. I like basketball. I don't necessarily have a favorite team, but I love LeBron James. But there's some Kobe nut huggers out there that I say, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Kobe's the greatest of all time behind Michael Jordan. I don't give a fuck about that. I just like how LeBron James play. That is my favorite player. I don't necessarily have a favorite football team, but I root for the Washington Redskins because I'm from Washington, D.C. And that just brings me to all the bullshit that I've heard spewed out about Andre Ward and Kovalev and all this shit. And you don't know boxing. You don't know boxing. What's the fuck to know about boxing? It's a contact sport. Hit. Not to be hit. But you got some motherfuckers who get on their training wheels, they bicycles, whatever, and they backpedal like Floyd Mayweather. And you know, I'm not gonna bash Floyd Mayweather, but I'm, I'm gonna say this. Castillo won, he lost. Pacquiao Mayweather, and yeah, I'm a semi Pactar. I can at least get that one a draw. Because neither man really did anything. Pacquiao couldn't do what he could do because of his arm. Oh, hold on. You know, we, we don't want to get into that subject. But, you know, Mayweather didn't do shit either. Because if he did so much, why the fuck would his father keep telling him, you fighting scared? What the fuck is wrong with you? Motherfuckers don't say shit like that unless a motherfucker is losing or they realize that they're not doing what the fuck they need to do to win the fucking fight. Now, Andre Ward Kovalev. We're gonna revisit that shit. Um, Andre Ward lost that fight. You can look at it any way you want to. I'm gonna look at it from a realist point of view. Through the history of boxing, Lennox Lewis versus Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis versus Tyson. Well, we're just going to stick with Lennox Lewis and Holyfield. The American fighter always gets the favoritism. You're fighting over here in the States. I don't give a fuck what country you're in. If it's your home fucking land, nine times out of ten, if it's going to a decision, you're going to get the victory unless you totally get fucking blasted the fuck out. And I guess since Kovalev didn't totally blast Andre Ward out because both men had too much fucking respect for each other, Andre Ward had no choice but to respect Kovalev's power. Kovalev respected Andre Ward because he didn't know what this fucker was going to do. He didn't know which Andre Ward was going to show up. Andre Ward is, uh, is like Bernard Hopkins, but more crafty. In the sense of dirty tactics. He does a lot of shit that Kovalev neutralized. And once he took those weapons away from Andre Ward, Andre Ward actually had to fight. But you don't want to talk about that. You don't want to talk about the headbutts, coming in with the headbutts and the forearms and all that good shit. But I guess you'll say that's boxing too. Clinching, I guess you'll say that's boxing too. Hell, 
I even said Gennady Golovkin did clinching when he was fighting Danny Jacobs. But he was fighting a motherfucker that was like super size and level five. Come on, man. Be real with yourself, dude. You're a nut hugger. You know, and I said I would never come up here and attack people and shit like that. So that's why you're going to stay nameless this time. But a lot of motherfuckers know who you are. I hear people calling you out, dude. I hear people calling you out. I think they say, this is the breaking news. I hear them calling you out, man. They want your head, homie. Because you're not real with your shit. And then you say, you know, it's just my opinion. You right, it's just your opinion. All this YouTube shit is everybody's opinion, man. But facts is, numbers don't lie. You're not gonna tell me that, oh, there's more to boxing than a motherfucker getting hit. Yeah, you're right. There's ring generalship, who controls the fight, aggressive, aggressive fighting, and all that shit. But even counting on a must point system, if a bitch get hit more. Now, through the years, I used to battle with, does a jab count more than a power shot? And history has shown a jab doesn't count more than a power shot. But a jab does come into play when it's a close fucking fight. I can land 100 jabs to your 75 fucking power shots, but what's gonna notify that is that you landed 75 fucking power shots to my 100 fucking jabs, and I only landed 25 fucking power shots, and you landed 25 fucking jabs. But you don't wanna talk about the truth. You don't wanna talk about the facts, man. You, you know, you, you, you retract a lot of shit that you say. A lot of shit in your videos. The next video, you'll be kicking the man. The next minute, you'll, you'll be praising him. Oh, I told y'all this. You ain't told nobody shit. Then you say, go back, put it in the video, mark it on my shit. Ain't nobody got time for all that, dude. That's clickbait. Like I say, I like all y'all shit, man. But I, I'm, I'm gonna just name the ones I really fuck with. I fuck with all y'all, but you know, precise, that dude is a fucking genius. And I love Thunderdome Boxing. Don Juan, he got some good shit. And there's a couple more of y'all, man, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of you motherfuckers who got channels are nut huggers. Y'all fucking nut huggers. So we go back and we visit this motherfucking Kovalev Ward thing. I'm gonna be honest with you. This time around, homie. Maybe he might get a la Roy Jones. What's your excuse tonight, Ward? And I love Roy. My favorite fucking fighter. But I guarantee this, it won't be a punch in the dark like Tarver threw. Cause when Kovalev throw that shit, his eyes will be wide open. And even if Andre Ward wins, let me tell you something. I love Andre Ward. Followed him since the Olympics. But facts is, He's pulling bitch moves. Like, I can't respect that shit. And I can't put him in my top pound for pound. A man who fights every three, four, five fucking years. I don't give a fuck about his legal allegations and all that shit. Inactivity does not make pound for pound, bitch. Come on, man. Stop playing with yourself, dude. Like I say, I like your videos. I like your videos. But be real with yourself, homie. Maybe it's a hometown thing. I don't know. But I'm here at my motherfucking job. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker drive trucks. But, uh, yeah, shout out to the people who uh, like and subscribe my shit. The video was supposed to be a little bit better than this. I went on a motherfucking rant. So I guess I'll do some reviews tomorrow on my way to put some tires on my car and shit like that. So. Y'all have a good morning. Just, just a little teaser. No clickbait here, but like and subscribe. Leave your thoughts and opinions. You know, I can answer some of them questions while we riding today. Y'all have a good day.
as the fast king say, as the fast king say, y'all have a blessed day.